some kids that might listen to this may not know what mindfulness actually is. So uh, I just want to know how you would describe it. Mindfulness is intentionally paying attention to the present moment. So your mind will go to the past, you know, things that have happened already or to the future. And, uh, you know, you can kind of, your head can be there a lot and spend a lot of time there, but the only real moment we have is the present moment. And so mindfulness is the process and of cultivating and disciplining your mind to be in the present moment, to be right where you are. And, and as you do that, you'll cultivate more and more awareness. You'll notice more in the present moment. You kind of be out of your head, uh, and aware of what's actually going on, what's going on inside of you with what your, you know, the voice in your head is saying, um, how tight your body is or nervous you are or um, what you're thinking about. And then you, so you become more aware of all of that. You start working with that. And then you also, because you're paying attention, you're more aware of what people around you are going through as well. And so that leads to compassion. Yeah. Why do you think it is so important to teach kids mindfulness techniques when they're young and do you think that it's more relevant right now with everything that's been going on in the world lately yeah um you know there's so especially for kids but really for all of us i mean we have technology and and lots of information coming at us phones and you know uh, instagram and all of this stuff that really can tend to distract you. And you think about your mind being somewhere else. Well, when you're on your phone, you're literally putting your mind, you know, somewhere else. And then if you put your phone down, you're thinking about, oh, what are my friends doing right now? Did I, did I get, did somebody send me a text or um, did someone, you know, send me a picture or whatever? And so your mind is not where you are. Your mind is on uh, your phone uh, and your mind is also in the future and the past. So it's a good way to kind of notice it. Um, notice how your mind works and then yeah. constantly trying to bring yourself back to, you know, they use anchors to get your mind back. So you you can use your breath, you know, your breath going in, your breath going out that grounds you in the present moment, your butt in the seat that grounds you in the present moment, your feet on the floor, being aware of that, that grounds you in the present moment. So all of this technology and all of the noise that's happening today can really distract you from the present moment. There are studies and science shows the health benefits of yoga and meditation and mindfulness. So why do you think it is taking so long uh, to get the support of all the adults in the country who have the power to put up with uh, the programs in schools? I think people are still learning about it. You know, a lot of uh, yoga and mindfulness people see is is um, they see it as religious when you know it 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 doesn't have to be. Uh, you know, mindful awareness is being aware. It's a human capability. It doesn't need to be tied to any one religion. Um, and so people see it sometimes as is uh, something that they can't do because it's not part of their religion. And, and so I think that's kind of hurt it, but it's, it's growing more and more in popularity. You see athletes doing it, uh, CEOs are doing it, major corporations are pushing it out. Um, so, you know, it's happening slowly, but surely there's a lot of research going on, citing the benefits of it. You can watch the benefits, uh, to the kids who are doing it. And I think any parent would want their kid to have mental discipline you know, be able to focus and concentrate more, be aware of their own emotional state, be aware of what's going on around them, be kind hearted, open, um, happy. You know, these, these are all the kind of things that come from the practice. Mm -hmm.